Today, I'm going to share you some important Excel functions that you need to know to become a data analyst and the functions you will regularly use at your job. I'm sharing this based on my work experiences having used Excel across multiple jobs. So I've divided this into four categories. So I have some must know topics that you must absolutely know, have to know topics, which is also very, very important for most jobs. Then there are some nice to have functions, which if you don't know, it's not a problem, but it's better you learn. And then some add on topics. This is more related to marketing from a business argument perspective. How can you use Excel? These are the four topics I'm going to address today. Let's start with must know topics. So must know, I obviously have a VLOOKUP. Every one of you should know VLOOKUP trying to combine two data sets using a common column. Of course, you need to know pivot tables to visualize, summarize the data, how to do a calculated field in pivot tables, even pivot charts, right? These are like absolute bread and butter. You need to know data validation, for example, to create a drop down, things like that, right? Data validation is really must. Then aggregated functions. By aggregated functions, I mean some ifs, some ifs, count if, count ifs, right? These are very common use cases. You're going to sum using multiple conditions. You're going to count using multiple conditions. So all these scenarios, you need to know these functions, right? There's no compromise on these four topics. You absolutely need to know as a you know person using Excel. So these are the topics you absolutely must know. Okay. Then I have some have to know topics. These are also very important for the job. Maybe not the first functions you learn, but once you learn the basics, the must know ones, you need to learn these as well. Index match, super powerful, very similar use case compared to VLOOKUP, but much more efficient. So do learn that. Then conditional formatting. Your managers always like visual stuff, stuff with colors, which you know usually easily humans can interpret. So conditional formatting again is a super important topic to know. Then I would also add uh, this topic around what if analysis and uh, solver, right? Although they are a bit advanced, it's useful to create scenarios and showcase use cases to your manager. So learning solver and what if analysis, I would definitely recommend that as well. Then with newer versions of Excel, if you are using latest versions, there are more functions that come into play. Like you have the filter function, super powerful use case. Again, XLOOKUP, much more sophisticated version of VLOOKUP. Then some text join functions. This is important to know, right? When you're combining data, it's super useful as well. So I would recommend you to also learn these kind of functions. Then of course, text and date functions, right? Like left function, mid function, find function, then date functions like year, month, end of month, week, all these things, right? These are super important because when you do data manipulation, you will encounter text and date columns. You might need to do these kind of manipulation. So these are also have to know topics, right? Once you master the must know topics, come to these topics. Again, super important to know these. Then I have the next category, which I call as nice to have, maybe not an absolute must, I would say, but I think definitely it's also good to know. Uh, of course, how to do linear or logistic regression in Excel, right? Go through some tutorials. It's not that complicated. If you know this, you're already up there with other expert Excel users, then other statistical analysis and functions. So this is also interesting to know, for example, to calculate correlation, to do a t-test and all these things. They are a bit advanced, but if you're into statistics, if you already have a base in statistics, it's good to know the statistical analysis and related functions, okay? Then we also have Power Query, right? This is super useful, like editing in Power Query. This is also very connected to Power BI topics, but knowing how to manipulate stuff in Power Query, remove errors, add conditional columns and just play around with power query, right? I think it's super interesting to know, definitely. So keep that in mind. Then macros and advanced Excel topics, like for example, length functions, uh, Lambda functions, all those things are also sometimes pretty interesting. Uh, macros you can use to automate stuff, send automated emails or populate a data automatically. Although these days it's not like that important to know macros, but definitely it's a good topic to know and it's a nice to have as you see. So when you know must know topics and have to know topics, then you come to the nice to have topics. Specifically, if you are into statistics, knowing regression and statistical analysis helps a lot. Okay, so that's the third category. Then I have some add on topics. This is more to do with little bit of statistics and if you're into say marketing, for instance, knowing how to do cohort or retention analysis in Excel. You can do the complete thing in Excel, it's possible. If you know that, that's fantastic. 
RFM analysis is finding the recency, frequency, monetary value of each customer. In terms of loyalty programs, this is a useful concept. Again, you can do a basic level RFM in Excel. It's fantastic if you know that. Then there is cross selling. Suppose you are an e-commerce company selling products. You want to see what combination of products customers are buying together. If they buy bread, are they buying jam together? If they buy some milk, are they buying some other banana or something together? Doing this cross selling analysis, it is also called as market basket analysis. This is also possible in Excel. If you know that again, pretty good. And then also doing clustering. So you have like sets of customers and you want to put them into different clusters, categorize them based on whatever they have contributed to your business. This can also be done, although it's a bit more complicated in Excel. So if you know this, this is again fantastic, right? These are more from the business acumen perspective. Definitely good to know, not an absolute must know, okay? So if you master the must know, have to know and nice to have topics already, I would say you are an 80% Excel user and you can simply get all the stuff done at your job more or less. Keep that in mind. Furthermore, if you're interested to learn these topics one by one, you can check out my channel Analyst Aditya. As you see, I have posted videos on some myth, data validation, conditional formatting, index match, uh, concatenation, day functions, a lot of other things as well. And then on top of that, if you want to do a full end marketing project, I have a marketing project based on Excel itself, right? Lot of calculations, pivot tables, find functions, all that is used, a complete end to end project. And another project based on like Swiggy data, analyzing food ordering data using basic Excel functions. I've done all these in Google Sheets, but the functions apply the same way in Excel as well. And then if you're interested to know some tips and tricks or some kind of challenging functions, then you can go through this video. It gives you seven amazing Excel tricks. You could even do stuff like Google Translate in Google Sheets. I have demonstrated how to do some of that. In fact, if I scroll down, you'll see I covered the filter function, which I was talking about, another advanced function called offset, then rejects to deal with text and a lot of other interesting things as well. And on top of that, if you know you are already good at Excel, Try and take this Excel test video I've posted recently. You can see if you can able to crack all the five questions. If you're doing four or five questions, right? You're already very good at Excel, okay? Remember, you can also take help of chat GPT sometimes. You don't need to mug up the functions and the syntax accordingly. If you know what is the use case, how to use it, that's more than enough. Excel itself has prompts to help you identify the arguments in a function. If not, you can also help take, take help of chat GPT, okay? Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Let me know what kind of Excel user you are. Do you know all these functions I mentioned? Which functions you do not know? Till then, take care. Have a great day. I'll see you again. Bye.